What's up guys, Alan here for the Mash Brothers. I got a great video for you guys today. We're gonna be checking out one of the biggest bourbon stores I've ever seen while visiting Kentucky, as well as some of the rarest bourbons that you have ever seen. So let's get right into it. Our first stop was Jungle Gems, this giant international market located just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. Have anything and everything you could ever imagine. This place is huge. Now they have everything from your typical kind of grocery fare all the way to these huge international foods as well as hot sauces. They have a huge pop selection of any and every kind of pop you can think of, but we'll get straight into the liquor. Um, Ohio kind of puts their bourbon sometimes mostly up on the shelf for you guys to see. I check out this old elk cigar cut. I've been getting into cigars lately, so I'm trying to look for a nice cigar cut blend. Um, they also had a booker sitting up on the table. Um, this has been hitting all over Ohio, so they're everywhere. Had a nice little scotch slash uh, Japanese whiskey section. They had some uh, other stuff such as Bardstown over to the side. They had a huge section of just rye whiskeys to check out. The rye was a lot better than the bourbon selection, if I remember. They didn't have a whole lot of bourbon that I haven't really seen before. Ohio typically has kind of your general bourbons. If you see it at one store, you pretty much see it at every other store, unless it's an allocated product. And then it kind of just depends on where you're at. Again, I'm checking out more of the Old Elk. It's just a weeded bourbon that I've been really wanting to check out lately, but just haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet. As you can see, the shelves were pretty empty. There wasn't a whole lot sitting on the shelves when we went there. Now they did have TX whiskey sitting on the shelves. I've been wanting to try some Texas whiskey. I see the TX as well as the Still Austin every now and again when I visit Kentucky. So something I wanna check out. I've heard some great things about the Still Austin, but not a whole lot about the TX. So if you guys were recommending that, let me know. But again, kind of more of your typical fare as you go along. Again, most of these are ones that you're gonna see every day in Ohio. This whiskey war, if you guys don't see these in your area, that's a distillery called High Bank located here in Columbus, Ohio. Great stuff. They put out some great whiskey. They just did a big selection recently. Really enjoy their products. And after a quick stop at their world famous restrooms, we're right back on the road heading over to Newport, Kentucky to go check out the party source. Most bourbon hunting kind of takes place in the Cincinnati area right across the river. Uh, Newport and Covington are located right across the river from Cincinnati. So if you're going to do bourbon hunting, I definitely recommend checking out right across the river instead. Party Source is this huge store right across the river. Uh, the party starts here and they have anything from party supplies from your wine to pretty much anything you can think of. I mean, look how big the bourbon aisle is here. Absolutely massive. This is looking down from the other end and you can just get more of an idea of how big this place is um, they actually did have these Blantons as well as the H. Taylor Eagle Rare kind of gift sets $109 for the Eagle Rare and for the H. Taylor Blantons $149 and I think it was $249 that I saw <clears throat> if you wanted the barrel top with the little cutouts for bottle heads cool little gift idea probably some of the better pricing that you're going to see for these products in Kentucky unless you're going directly to the distillery Got a little bit of Henry McKenna sitting on the shelves, but they had even more sitting out on the table, or not on the table, excuse me, out on the floor. Huge barrel just sitting there wide open with Henry McKenna. Um, again, link to the last video, we have a whole bunch, so we're not really looking for any of that today, as well as the Willet. I'm actually sitting here drinking some Willet right now, and I remember why I'm not a big fan of this stuff. Been seeing the 2XO pop up everywhere lately. The Tribute Blend, American Oak. They also had the brand new release of the Gem of Kentucky sitting out. Great looking bottle, but $200. I think I'm going to pass today. Just not looking to drop that kind of money. Now, Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. You guys know we're, we're big fans of this. If you see it for over 130 proof, we definitely recommend picking it up. Another bottle we've seen lately and wanted to pick up, Nulu. We missed out on the We Came As Romans pick, but something we're going to try very soon in one of our bourbon reviews. As well as Old Bardstown. One of you guys recommended trying the Old Bardstown. It's only available in Kentucky, so we're going to have to pick that up next time we're in Kentucky. We didn't end up picking up today. Same goes with the Peerless. Not, it's available more often, but definitely more readily available down in Kentucky. We saw they had this absinthe finished rye. I've never seen an absinthe finished bottle before, so definitely something kind of cool and interesting. Now, I finally found my RD1 Amberana finished. 
heard a lot of people say how good this bottle is, a bunch of people saying they're not a big fan, so kind of just depends if you're a fan of, fan of that Amberana or not. <laughs> now, if you're newer getting into whiskey, I definitely recommend trying Smoke Wagon and or Redwood Empire. Some great bottles from MGP Sourced Whiskey. Great bottle to check out and get started into the uh, world of whiskey. They had the Four Roses tasting experience as well as many other gift sets. So whether you're looking for that or even some flavored whiskey, this place had it all. They had such a huge selection as well as your scotch. They had some Irish whiskey, bunch of offerings for anyone and everyone in your family or anyone that's special to you if you're looking for something special for the holiday season. The last thing I checked out before leaving the store was a new Rift. Now, the reason I checked them out last was kind of want to compare pricing because surprisingly enough, when you walk right out the front door, leaving the party source, you're met directly with the new Rift distillery. So short walk right across the street and you are right into the front door. Um, prices was a little bit higher than what they had at the party source. Kind of makes you wonder like why some people would buy there unless you're really just trying to support the distillery by buying directly from them, but still not cool nonetheless. Um, Cup had a couple more options available as well as being able to mix and match single barrels to be able to get 10% off and a free Glen Karen. They also had some cool little gift sets as well as some clothing if that's something you guys are interested in supporting the new Rift Distillery. Now, something we did see sitting on the shelves that I hadn't seen before is this Silver Grove. It's their barrel proof, uh, non-chilled filtered, uh, barrel proof whiskey. Uh, something new offering that, that just got released here in November. It's something cool to definitely check out in the future. I'd like to go back down and pick it up. Just decided not to pick it up today on a little bit of a budget. Now, speaking of a budget, this Covington Market, you look in, you see Each Taylor, Blanton's, the Michter's Toasted Barrel, McKenna, Stag, so many heavy hitters. So kind of had a feeling this, price, this place was going to have some high prices. See some selections from $17.92 as well as an old Fitz decanter sitting up there. So this place was definitely definitely out of my price range today it's still cool nonetheless to see some of the offerings as well as this jack daniel single barrel barrel proof rye it's been popping up a little bit here in ohio but not as often as i would like to see it or around the price tag that i'd like to see it at um, they also had the c923 we've heard some great things about the elijah craig c923 bottles um, they had a bunch of different bookers picks as well as some barrel selection down there a bunch of the benchmarks not all of them but a good little selection of them now i did see the early time sitting down there $50. This was kind of more confirmation that this place was going to be a little bit too pricey for me. They had the antique, the final foolproof CYPB single barrel, as well as the 12 and the 12 big boys sitting up there. So pretty cool. I've never actually seen a uh, Weller 12 big boy sitting out in the public before. So kind of cool just to see some of these bottles. They also had a Jack Daniels 10 year and 12 year sitting on top with a bunch of Eagle Rare as well up on top. prices were just crazy what they were trying to sell some bottles for it just definitely felt more like a museum a bottle we did luckily pick up lately was this penelope valencia luke and i've both been looking for this a lot recently got lucky and found it now one of my dream bottles a willet purple top definitely cool to see a willet purple top sitting on the shelves but this next place that we see oh, it's topped it all revival located in covington kentucky this place was amazing now they had a little tasting bar towards the back but this place specializes in old dusty bottles so they have anything from the 1800s all the way up to more recent bottles but definitely a place to check out look at some of these old tailors and some just these old dusties such a cool place to visit. I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys kind of soak it in for a little bit, but so many cool offerings that this place has. If you guys wanna check out what they have to offer, definitely check them out on TikTok, as well as their uh, Facebook page. If you guys have some old bourbons to sell or to buy, check that out as well. Pretty cool to check out this place they had some offerings that weren't just bourbon or whiskey they had some cognac as well as some other very cool old dusty bottles so if you're looking for a really special gift for someone might have to pay a little bit more but definitely a great place to check out and see what they have to offer Now 
Now they had so many bottles that they were just kind of littered all over the floor in some reason, some places. It's like they didn't even have enough shelving to have some of the old crazy bottles that they have. So definitely cool just to walk around and like see the prices that they're offering as well as win some of these old bottles and see how the bottles have changed over time. Such a cool place to check out. They did have the tasting bar in the back with some Buckner's, Old Four Roses, the Barrel Proof Each Taylor, as well as some Old Taylor, some Willet Purple Top, as well as many other offerings from behind the uh, counter. It was pretty reasonable pricing to check out. So we had a great time on this bourbon hunt. Uh, we greatly thank you guys for checking out the video. We did come home with one bottle. However, it was not actually while we were in Kentucky. So Ohio's been dropping some other big allocated bottles. This is the best time of year, right around the allocation season. So we get a lot of crazy, more hard to find bottles. This past week, we had a little book dropping, we had bookers, we had um, we had stag and a whole bunch of other bottles dropping. But I ended up coming home with a Blanton's. Now I wasn't expecting to come home with anything. I was in line, maybe 40th in line or something like that. So definitely wasn't expecting to get anything, but uh, it's still sitting on the shelf there. I still need a couple more bottle toppers and end up being one that I don't have yet, so still collecting those. I mean, when you get it for retail, I might as well. That's kind of how I feel about it. Nothing crazy with Blanton's. If you guys haven't tried it before, it is a good bottle, but I don't think it's worth some of the crazy price tags that you see out there. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. We're trying to hit that 300 subscribers, so drop a like, check us out on TikTok, follow us on Instagram, check us out on Facebook. But until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>